All right, guys, so we have some exciting things coming to the channel. I know you guys usually like videos like this. This is going to be a little different. We got two new animals, and I'm not in the same place where I usually am. I'm actually at my girlfriend's house, and but we did get two more animals. So come see what we got. So we got two ferrets. This one here is Sugar. Sugar has more white on her, like she's more white in her fur and on her face is like super white. And she's crazy though, but this is Cinnamon. She's younger and she's just more brown. So I think that's why we named her Cinnamon. I don't really, honestly, no, I didn't pick the names, but somebody recommended that we change her name to Pepper. So I don't really know. So drop name suggestions in the comments for this one. We're gonna keep her name as Sugar, but drop name suggestions for this one. But these are the two ferrets that we have. Um, they are crazy and wild and they actually make a mess all over the place. Look at this. This is one day of play from everything. But they're awesome little things and we'll let them run on the ground. But yeah, me, Cinnamon and Sugar, she's six months old and three months old and they're the best little girls ever. They play with the dogs, but Deuce is a little crazy. So we have to put him away when we put them out because I don't know how he feels about them, but yeah. Oh, sorry. Leo likes them. I don't think you guys have met Leo before. This is our other dog. I think you guys have met Deuce on the channel. That's Deuce over there. But this is Leo. He's our Labradoodle. And he likes the ferrets. Let's see how Deuce interacts with the ferrets. Deuce, he come. We try to do like a little bit by a little with Deuce and the ferrets. Come. Leo, move. Leo, move. watch out. Deuce, he come. Come, Deuce. Wanna sniff him? Deuce has a little bit of a higher prey drive, so we really have to like watch him when he's gonna sniff. Okay, that's enough. Leo actually plays with the ferrets. Let's put Deuce up, and I'm gonna put Deuce up, and you guys can watch Leo run around with the ferret too. So as you guys know, if you know anything about ferrets, they're literally crazy and they're known for being wild and getting into mischief. Come here, ouch, come here. And they're literally like little, I call them like little slinkies because they literally fit into anything. Look, it's under this and I cannot grab her. Come, okay. Okay, now that I've got her, this is like the crazier one and she like really gets into everything she doesn't usually want to be held but she sleeps more for the most part it's actually really weird she's more active but she literally sleeps all day so I don't know I guess we're figuring them out it's only been two weeks since we got them and they're not potty trained either so they just make a mess So like ferrets are so mischievous that you literally have to put outlet covers and they'll get under your cabinets and they hide and won't come out like they're so like mischievous but of course we always get our hands full with animals biting boas and stuff like that so we'll just keep adding. There's also some other, well there's also another animal here that we don't show on the channel because you guys usually see filming at my house but let's go see the other animal that's here. Um, excuse me. Go play. All right, or not. Nice. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> go, go. She's coming back, watch out. Besides her, this is our other pet. She's actually shedding right now, but it's just a bearded dragon. This is Venus. 
I think Venus is five years old or six. Six years old. She's a six year old bearded dragon. She's shedding right now, but I'm just helping her shed a little bit. All this shed is already coming off, so it's loose. It's like it's peeling right off. But yeah, you guys never met Venus. She likes bugs more than salad, but lately I think she's been finally eating her salads. As you guys know, bearded dragons are. I guess omnivores, well they eat insects, they're like insectivores, they eat insects and greens, vegetables, salads, things like that. But yeah, this is Venus. She's the nicest bearded dragon ever. And she has this big old enclosure here that she literally just either sits in this corner here or in that cave or under here. Like she doesn't even bask all the way up there for some reason. but. Yeah, that's Venus. She doesn't really do much. She just is, she's chilling, but I don't know where the ferrets went, and I hope they're not in the dog room. We should have put their collars on. Yeah. Where's your sister? This is the dog room, guys. Come look. Before we get back into the ferret talk, this is the dog room. This is where our dogs stay. They don't really have cages or anything, but, oh, there's a ferret in there. Okay. The ferret's in the dog room. With Deuce, which isn't a great idea. That's Deuce. Scared out of his mind. Okay. Get out. Get. Go. Go. Out. Go. 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 Leo, go. In there. Go. We have to watch them because they can fit <laughs> through the little holes that are in the dog thing. But yeah, this is the dog room, like I was saying. This is where the dogs chill out. It's their food. Leo's always here. There's Deucey. But yeah, like I was saying, the ferrets are insane, as you guys can literally see. They run around and wreak, wreak havoc and make a mess and everything else. But we're going to clean up their cage now and then put them back in there. But let's give you guys a detailed tour of how the cage looks. We'll show you before and then after it's clean what it looks like. But this is before. Food is spilled. And that food is spilled, and there is ferret poop right there, because they don't know how to use a litter box yet. And the litter box is empty because they dig in it, and there are hammocks that they don't use. So, yeah, they prefer to sleep in cardboard boxes, but we're going to clean that enclosure now, and then get back to you guys when it's done. So, see you, peace. You guys are a mess. These are the collars that I'm talking about. They can they can actually pull them off, but they don't. Well, sometimes. Sugar is literally the, the troublemaker, so she pulls her collar off. But this is only while they're out. Like, this doesn't stay on full time, but this is when they're, like, running around. A free roaming. And she just literally wants to get on the ground so she can go in there with the dogs and bite the dog's ankles, because that's what she does. She bites our ankles. She bites the dog's ankles. And when we got her, we thought she was so sweet. That's why we picked these two. They were so sweet, so nice. As soon as we came home, Sugar was like almost uh, completely opposite. But it's okay. You'll be nice. You'll be nice. Now look at the cage guys, it's it's all clean now after like 30 minutes of vacuuming and mopping the floor and this is what we have to do literally every day. They're colors. Oh. We're gonna take I'm gonna take their collars off. Well one's missing a collar. So that's probably in the bathroom. Or but yeah. They don't really understand how to drink out of a bowl because they had a they had like one of those like ones with the thing on it that you press and the water comes out. But I heard that's not good for their teeth. So they're, we're trying to teach them how to drink out of a water bowl. They just stick their whole head in there and make a mess. 
<laughs> they don't really understand the concept of drinking out of a bowl yet, so they kind of just fish their whole head in there. But it's okay, they're learning, they're adapting. The next important thing is potty training. So if anybody knows how to potty train a ferret, please comment on this video and like, I'll give you my number so you can teach me because I'm tired of cleaning up ferret poop and we're tired of cleaning up ferret poop every single day out of all the corners. But yeah, two new animals, two new pets added to the family. So if you guys like videos like this, make sure you let me know that you enjoy things like this and I'll keep filming as they literally try their hardest to tip the bowl over right now. Look at that. Oh, she stopped. Yeah, she's pushing it over. She's trying to knock it over and make a mess. So yeah, as you guys can see, they're super mischievous little animals. Honestly, don't recommend, but I love them. I love all my animals. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.